masters in their field. World-class chefs with extreme confidence and incomparable skill. Chag Atzmot Sameach. I'm so happy that we're having an amazing Yom Atzmot. Some of us enjoy having Israeli food on Yom Atzmot. So, here are some videos put together about how you can make your very own homemade Yom Atzmot meal. For example, we're going to learn how to make fresh lafa, Israeli salad, our homemade falafel, and china and hummus. And if you'd like, of course, you can add chips, which are also known as french fries in America. Uh, some roasted eggplant, which is just cutting up an eggplant and throwing it in the oven on 400 for about 25 minutes. And wrap it all together and eat it. Betavon. So you take here, right here, you take a tomato and a cucumber. Oh, and then you turn it into this amazing, amazing salad. Look at that. Oh, oh you take all the fruit. You just cut off the cucumbers and tomatoes. Put in a little salt and pepper. A little olive oil from Israel and mm. <laughs> <laughs> to make lafa, add two cups of flour, a rounded tablespoon of dry yeast. Just pour it right in. Some salt, about a half a cup of sugar, and mix it together. Add to that three to three and a half cups of water and let it mix and then a little bit of oil let it sit covered then knead it and let it sit again once it's risen you can roll it out cut it into small pieces make them into little circles and let them sit to rise a little bit more covered when they're ready, flatten them out to fit the size of your frying pan. Roll them out by hand. And you're going to bake it on the stove top in a frying pan, covered. Probably no more than two minutes, to two and a half minutes on each side. Just enough that it starts to get brown. You make your own falafel balls. It makes a super yummy falafel. You need garbanzo beans, let them sit in water overnight. Once they're soaked, you can add fresh parsley, garlic, and onion to a blender. Blend it really well. Add your garbanzo beans, some salt, some cumin, some paprika, and some pepper, and a little bit of sugar. Mix that together and blend it until it's nicely blended. Add some breadcrumbs. Let it sit in the fridge for a while. Then roll it into beautiful little balls. Place them on a plate and then you can just put them in oil to fry. Mm, perfect. Homemade trina, which is the base for hummus, is also very simple. Toasted sesame seeds in a blender with some olive oil and some salt. If you want to turn that into hummus, so you can continue beyond there with your trina, some lemon juice, freshly squeezed, mixing that will get it fluffy, and then add to that some more garlic, some more olive oil, some cumin, and some salt, and your can of garbanzo beans. Let it blend for a while, and there you have your hummus. Add a little bit of water if you like it a little bit thinner.